Yeah, hello and welcome back. A lot of people were already asking about the new Novation Launchpad series. So the Launchpad X and the Mini Mark III will it be supported with Bidic? And they will and they do now. So here we have the Launchpad X and as you see, it's much thinner than the old version. So I have here the, the Mark II, also the Mark II here. And if you compare it to the Mark II, it's much thinner, basically half the size of the Mark II. And I think also it feels much better, more soft Solid, very robust even if it's much thinner and also the pads are much nicer and we will also see in a second how good the velocity works on these as well and also here the little mini and the mini is really a cutie here because it's so small you can just look at it. it's just basically just the size of my hand and you can put it in any bag take it with you and it's also very thin I guess you will not even feel it in your bag so the definitely must have thing for your next holidays and the other nice thing is they both come now with USB-C so they will be fully ready for the next generation of computers but the cable is still the old version which comes with it on the other side so it's no problem connecting it to your current computer but if you have a newer one you can get also USB to USB-C cable and this will also work as well so looking at it how it works in Bitwig as you see it gets auto detected so you can simply add it here to Bitwig and it's coming up up and if you add it manually for any reason you need to take care to select the second input and the second output to make it work and the same is true for the uh, smaller version and as you've seen it will come up and the feature set is exactly the same as with the old versions so it's no difference to the launchpad pro and the mark ii the naming is different here we have here custom and capture midi and capture midi is here used as the shift button because we also don't have a dedicated shift button so here you get to the shift menu as previously with the old versions here you can select the different modes for mixing so the volume panorama mode and so on and let's switch for a second to the volume mode there you can see we still have that feature that if you press it hard or soft the change is more quickly and this is nice that it also supports aftertouch on that so you can put your finger on there and softly press it and it will slowly move down so really nice for a life situation and yeah the, all the other stuff is here you have the different play modes you have here with shift you also have the different other modes the sequencer modes you need to create a clip to see the sequencer mode here let's create a clip uh, so you have all those raindrop sequences all the good stuff is in there here you can uh, edit your devices you have here also your browser all the stuff is in there and the only difference to them is that led up here so this always shows the color of the currently selected track which is a difference the bro had this in the front but the other models don't have that and i think we should quickly switch here to the to the small one because this looks really cute let's switch to the small one it's also coming up and as you see it's now ready to use auto detected everything in a go and this can also be played really nicely you get also the same feature set you have all the sequences the drumming and all that stuff is in there as you can see here you can do everything with it as well and it fits in your small bag the only difference is that it's not velocity sensitive and therefore if you go here for example to the volume mode this feature is not available that it's no matter how hard or soft you touch it it will also change with the full speed so this is the only limitation but besides that i think it's a really nice small device and yeah i think really worth grabbing those two things and have some fun with them and make some funky music